for West Arlington. What a place to be. There's such rich country and infrastructure. <laughs> I'm dying over here! And the job rates are through the fucking roof. Crime is barely non-existent. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake! Get out of there, miss! Sorry. Help me. And you know why that is? It's because people like me have been doing jobs like this. Deputising the fucking lands and making sure that the place is, you know, are safe, calm and protected. Me, I'm Samuel Lawrence and uh, I'm a deputy for Le Moyne. This is what I do. Okay, so, uh, just to, uh, like, you know, properly un understand how to say your, how do I, like, properly say your name? Like, is it Rin or is it, is it, is it, is it it's Rin, isn't it? Like, Rin? Uh, it's, it's the same sounding as Marshall Wren. Oh, Wren! This is Wren, a.k.a. Wren Lee. She's one of our fucking recruits, Philemon. Now, uh, I've only just met her, but... She's got a fucking good head up on her shoulders. Aye, she knows how to get shit done. Bearing in mind, she does take a lot of shit from me. Yeah. Oh, just, just the I. I okay. Yeah. Uh, see, I taught myself how to read and write, so those fucking E get me the fucking jumbled up. To f I tell you what. No, you're fine. Um. Okay. Well. Uh. Let me have a look here. You've got the information pack, right? Uh. I haven't received anything. Okay. Let me give you something here. Okay. Oh, there you go. So well, that's basically what you're gonna expect on the job, um, and what we expect from you on the job. Okay. Okay, listen, right for the for the time being, uh, I think what we can do is just pop out. I gotta go check my telegrams. Alright. Um, and then we can just do a little patrol around just to get get you used to the city in there. Crystal! Oh, you got a lovely horse, by the way, Ren. Oh, thank you. His name's Harlow. My my girl, my girl's name's Crystal. She's a Breton Stillgrave. Aye, aye, but Breton Stillgrave with a uh, with whitey uh, kind of hair, you know. Um, she used to have a mustache that I glued on, but alas, I got rid of it. I just need to pop to the bank quickly. Are you okay? Keep on calling your horse, like, you know, giving him a fuck, giving him a fucking go around the old town you are. Uh, no, um, my horses keep coming out well without, like, you know, part of the. Their... Hello! My horses my... keep coming without their, like, um, the blanket or the saddles, and I'm like, mm, I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, yeah. That's fucked. Hey, sir! Excuse me, lad, but you're not allowed to be playing that trumpet at this time of night, okay? Now, listen here. If I catch you playing that trumpet, then so help me God, I will knock it out your hand. <laughs> Are you going to play that trumpet in front of me? Are you going to test me? No? Good. <laughs> Better not. Good day, sir. If he starts playing that fucking trumpet, I swear to Almighty, the gods above, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll flip me lid. It's not that bad. Ah, it's against ordinance, and it fucking annoys me when it's just time of night and he's blaring it loud. Don't mind it in the morning. I love it in the morning. I dance and everything, but at night time, people are sleeping. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep saying all that. I'm not sure if I, I don't want to get you upset with me. 
I haven't been called Leon a few times now. Who is Leon? Oh. That's, that's, that's the, uh, the department manager in Blackwater. The one with oh. an eye patch? Does it, yeah, doesn't he have an eye patch? Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's Leon. Why. I know. Leon's attractive. No, X, the, the X fucking kills me. That was a that's joke. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, we've met so many people that look so much like Leon that we just keep every time we see another Leon, we're like, oh, that's Leon 2.0. <laughs> uh, budget Leon. Sir, do you mind if I call you Budget Leon? Uh, you can call me James. James, nice to meet you, James. My arm, Samuel. Deputy what? Samuel, but you know, fuck, I don't care for him formal formalities. I'm casual. <laughs> he says. Tammy, nice to meet you, Tammy. You okay there? You look like you've been injured. Oh, yeah, just had a little uh, fight with the stem stem boys. Oh, fucking hell, really? You okay? Uh, yes. You... Just, just a little sore. Just have a little... You don't need to, like... Cool, cool scar. Did you manage to, like, you know, sort it out with law? Obviously, I don't know if you've talked to law yet. Uh, we were, uh, part of the tall trees of, uh... Oh, co oh, yes, you were part of the skirmish. Fuck yeah, I'm still yeah. having night terrors. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. But you better go. Have... Alright, yeah, we gotta, we gotta go catch up with our friend in Blackwater. Oh, well, yeah, you guys ride safe and, you know, just don't get fucking attacked on the way because that's not very nice we will try not to uh you stay safe out here as well sam ah uh, yes you take care mate you take care and it was nice meeting you too ma'am i didn't catch your name uh it's rinley nice to meet you but we gotta go pleasure, pleasure to meet you rinley right. tally bye all right have a good one oh fuck okay um Let's go back to the office. I want to talk to you about a few things we can talk to. Uh, I can, you know, let you know on a few things on how we operate stuff and, and stuff like that. Okay. So. You're on patrol around St. Denis. And... You get a call. Coming, coming on in. Basically, uh, you get ba some guy letting you know that uh, he witnessed a store robbery up in Rhodes. It was a one man in all all black outfit with a black bandana covering his lower half of his face, and he stole two hundred and sixteen dollars, four pouches of chewing tobacco, and. Three lock pick, uh, uh, not lock picks. Three watches. You manage to apprehend him because he doesn't leave the area. He thinks he's gonna get away with it, not knowing the fact that he's been told he's been spotted by many people. You slap him in cuffs. You take him to the jail cells. You you do the you do the arrest procedures. We'll we'll, we'll cover that another time. Um, and you start charging him with his crimes. What is he being charged with? Wouldn't it be, was he, um, like, was he a, um, combative, like, was he compliant, was he, um, was he... do you know what, this one is being a right fucking twat, he's calling your mom a gooseberry, and, you know, calls your father a hamster. Wouldn't it be, a petty robbery? And then you would charge him with his charges, and then go add on the amount he stole for the fine. And depending on how, like you know, how much you want to give him for you know services, because uh, from what I remember being you know told, um, there's um, usually the amounts of fines you do give him is that of how you think he acts, right? 
All right, so essentially we have a minimum, maximum sentencing of fines and times. So with this petty robbery charge, essentially he can get up to one day in prison and a $50 fine plus the $213 he's stolen. Yeah, so that, that's what I was saying. I just haven't had a chance to look at the you know, the amounts of, you know, for the funds for each charge. That's all. Um, now, be bearing in mind, this person was being an absolute knob jockey. So, knowing this information, what are you going to uh, uh, charge him with more, uh, time and fine-wise? Probably no. it would be, like, one day. And then... Uh, I would charge him with a $50 fine and then add on... The each charge of okay. what is still. So, um, you are correct, yes. You are definitely correct. Um, when it comes to misdemeanors, we tend to try and utilize an alternative punishment because it's not severe. Like, like, like I mean, yeah, sure, they're being a twat, but, you know, yeah. get them to clean the fucking piss pots in the cells for the day. Oh, God. Or, you know what I mean? Like, tell them yeah. you, they got to do some heinous crimes, like cleaning the, the fucking toilets out. So, basically, when it comes to felon... Oh, hang on. Give me two seconds. I just saw someone ride in. I think it might be Amelia. I thought it was you. Could see a fucking horse from here. This is Recruit Amelia Evans, basically my favourite, well, I shouldn't say favourite, but she is. I've had her under my wing now for about three or four days with uh, a good buddy of mine, Jasper Buck. This is Ren Lee, one of, the, one of the other recruits. Oh, hello there. How are you? I'm doing good, you? Come on in, you're letting in a fucking draft! Don't pay to heat the fucking streets now, do we? No, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. Oh, sorry, do you want to go and check your mails? It's fucking locked you in here. Don't worry, I'll uh, I'll keep the door unlocked and uh, you can freely come and go as you please. Alrighty. I'm going to catch up with Amelia and watch the crack. Is anything to crack? What's going on? No, nothing. I'm just giving her. I'm just uh, we can me and me and Ren are just going over territory laws. Like last time, just just uh, sorry, just Ren and have uh, access to our. Uh, I I don't even think no. Ren, do you have access to the trainees board? Uh, no, I don't think so. I can't even give it. Oh. No, I know. We're gonna have to talk another week for. That's okay. I'm gonna federally telegram someone to see if someone can pop in and uh, sort some shit out for you guys. Yeah, there was no law over in um, West Elizabeth. I know uh, Gwen just woke up though. So they have a secretary, but no, no law. Um. She was like, if anything happens, just call into the office. I should be around most of my day in the office. So. Apart from that, Lemoyne's been quite dead. That's what we like to hear. Uh huh, uh huh. Sorry, um, what? What the fuck? What? It's, it's a thing, apparently, that like. Step sibling yeah. jokes getting stuck in what? The wicker basket? No, they get stuck, like, apparently the stepsister gets stuck in random things, and then the, the man, like, the, the, the stepbrother, like, uses the opportunity where the stepsister is stuck to, to do murder. Uh, well, like, what evade taxes? Commit murder? <laughs> like... No, more like, you know, like, pulling their, um, their private parts out and putting it in the, the lady in front of them. Well, like, just dangling his cock, like, nah, look at that, you're stuck, and i got a penis. No, like, putting it in the lady who is... Oh! 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 I mean, yeah, we do live in the South. I mean, we do live in the South. 
So. So um, I made I made note on your card that uh, we went we we've been doing communication skills. Apparently, I got it signed off already. Thank you very much. I appreciate that so much, man. You haven't got it signed off? What? I'm looking at it now, and what you got to get... Kane said he signed it off. Uh, I'll talk to him. Maybe he forgot to do it, but he wanted to do it. Um, But what we got so far is de-escalation and negotiations, which we need a sheriff for situational awareness... Communication skills and horse training. Horse training, me and you, me, both of us, all of us can do today. I think we're going to start with that. Sounds good to me. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take our horses, go and take them into the uh, pond area, the greenery. Uh -huh. And um, I'll let you know from there. You guys crack on. I'm, I'm going to be with you in a couple minutes. I'm going to sort right. some stuff out, make sure everything's all sorted.